hiding in a pen. He's got a pen out. He's going to write on you. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, it's the illusion recording from somewhere on what? Spaceship Oh, my God. Earth. <laughs> I'm here with Baby Sneak Al attack. on the here. hologram. You're going to stab me and here, have some nuts. We're hanging out. What are you doing? Have some cashews. So, what's going on, Mama? What? Why don't you, uh, why don't you such a sneak attack. Why don't you, you it why don't you me. check in? What's the, what's the family status here? What? What's new? Family status. Well, they know. No, nah, I don't watching. know. Do they want to hear Pony, from me? Pony, I assaulted the neighbors. Let's get I into that. I didn't really assault the neighbors. Let's get in that. What did you do to the neighbors? You, you flipped out. I, fl I finally lost my mind. And why? I've had a couple years I've been biting my tongue. They keep involving themselves in my parenting. Because we had a friendship prior to moving to the property. And, you know, that whole four agreements thing where what other people think about me is none of my business. Well, that's she sort cracked. Ah, oh, that went out the window. And somebody sent a text message to me. One of the people next door sent a text message to me insinuating that I wasn't there for my daughter. During the Lost Pony. During the Lost Pony. And... <clears throat> Somehow their their opinion of me and that text message sent me through. I, I lost my mind after three switch. days of no sleeping and pony searching and and I ran next door with the phone in my hand and and cussing and screaming and how dare you accuse me of not taking care of my daughter and and then it got into a whole you know I and then it turned into a me standing there with the phone going, oh, you're big talkers over text, but you can't do it face to face. I mean, I lost my mind. Like, I kind of got ghetto. Did you get ghetto? I got a little ghetto. And, yeah. And it, and it, and, and I was upset for like a week about it. I, that these people next door, by the way, who I would never ask for advice, I don't respect in that arena I don't know why I let it get to me but I did and you know Hamish brought something up that was kind of interesting he's like what if somebody I have this yeah so anyways yeah, I'll, have to somebody... get, I'll have to get into too much history and we don't have enough time for that we don't we're only at two minutes oh. two minutes in okay I got sober when my daughter was four years old in between two and four years old I was a mother that was drinking alcohol I still seven crazy. Years, seven crazy. years later. Thank you. I seven years later. I suffered from really bad postpartum, and I am an alcoholic. I was sober at the time when I was pregnant and had my daughter, and I thought because becoming a mother was going to cure me of my alcoholism because I loved my daughter so much, and I I went untreated with postpartum depression for like a year, and I I ended up drinking alcohol again and dragging my daughter to bars with me. And that's actually when I met Hamish. I didn't like her. He didn't like me. Yeah. And when Georgie was almost four years old, I got sober finally for good. And I've been sober for seven years, but I still have, I have one wound and my wound is that I wasn't a good mom. Because I wasn't for two years. You can't be a participant, practicing alcoholic, and be a good mother. You just can't. And um, or I, I wasn't. And so, when anybody brings up my mothering to Georgie, not to Owl, because Hamish then said, "What if somebody was like, well, you're not a good mom to Owl, or you weren't there?" For I'd laugh at it because it's laughable. Because I've done nothing but take care of this little human for, you know, a year and a half now. Because we're not doing that whole 15 months thing. We're not going to be one of those things. How old is he? He's 22 months. He's 14. <laughs> Isn't he 15 months? June? No, the 23rd is his birthday and it's August. So he's just over 14 months. Okay. So we so are anyways, But yeah, so yeah, I, I, I cracked because... 14 months and two weeks. Because ah, I let somebody week. else's opinion of the kind of mother I am... Don't don't involve yourself in my in my home and my parenting. I'm an alpha female. I don't want if I don't ask for your opinion, I don't want your opinion. 
And don't and don't judge my my daughter. Oh. No, it's not over. What keep is going. it? Keep what going. is it doing? Just keep it going. Just, what? And it. don't judge my daughter either, because. But it the really... neighbors were really involved when I was a single mom, before I met Hamish, and she would go ride with them. So they felt the need to. They felt that they had some sort of like role as par grandparents or something, and they don't. So. But but ultimately, I think what we we're getting into is is a lot of the uh, the flip out came from an internal place versus an ex Whoa. external place. You just have so many nuts in your mouth. Right. Yeah, I have a. That's my one soft spot. I cried for like a week after that. I was destroyed. It was pretty heavy. Scene I was there. destroyed. I was so upset by that. You know, it, but it's been going on for a while. Yeah, They've been talking about what kind of parent I am and. To, even to my face, like giving me advice. I don't want. Well, that what 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 really kicked it off was they set that to the mini gram, dude. What? What really set it off was the one daughter said it to Georgie. Oh, the no. The, she talked what? smack to the daughter. The, the the oldest daughter talked badly about me to my own daughter, and that I lost my mind. That ain't cool. I called her and said, "Don't you ever? First of all, you're never allowed." To hang out with my daughter again. Second of all, don't oh. you? <gasps> Is he gonna cry on camera? Nope. He's... Second of all, maybe. How how oh, dare sorry. you? Did he just elbow him on the camera? Yeah, I got him good. Wow. Dude, he's a trooper, he dude. Off. Look at that guy. Just muscled right through so, that. So yeah, you know, people want to get it, and that's why we're generally private. I have a couple girlfriends that are like, I ran it by them. They would have lost their mind too. And we are very private people, and. You know, because these people live next door, we're also very loud. I'm loud. He's, you know, he's loud. Georgie, my daughter's loud. Yeah, this so dude can get loud. So when we all get, well, we get going. We get going. Yeah. Because so, it's, you know, it's we not have all puppy dogs and rainbows. People's opinions all up in your business. Just mind your own business. Stick to your own home. Mind what's under your own roof, people. First. I don't care what anybody else does, as long as they're not freaking hurting me or my family or hurting animals or their own children i mean wow we really got you going dude uh, look look at her go the two minute mark my, she had nothing to say seven business seven and a half minutes mind later own, can't get her to mind your own business well right? And, right? you know hey if you come mind from a place of love don't be looking over into other people's yards if your yard's a mess. Yeah, right? if you've got trash all over your yard. Don't tell other people to clean up their yard. Yeah, because they let me tell you, their yard's freaking full of trash and dog poo. And we never say a word. In fact, in fact, their dogs come over to poop in our yard. Yeah. Because their yard. Has so that so was much that. Poo. But yeah, no, I was wrecked for a good week. I couldn't get it out of my head. You know when you have the conversation with that imaginary person in your car? I was, I was I was having a conversation with these people in my car while driving my car for a good week. You know really? when you have those? Yeah. Oh yeah. What I could have said different, what I should have done, how it could have gone, if it happens again, what will I do? Oh yeah, I had full done. internal diet. I really like those nuts. Oh, okay. Here's I had full in dialogue. He's got a chunk of my hair in his hand and it hurts a lot gentle but i'm over it now i i literally haven't even seen them in it's she, like they she wrote them out of her script yeah. so oh. there you there you go <laughs> and on that note oh. oh 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 and the one woman i was like really you want to talk about it like let's talk about it and, and they're like not in front of the not in front of your daughter i go why you had no problem talking to my daughter about me and he, she goes you really want to know what i think she goes i think you're that Georgie is lonely and immature. And I was like, Georgie was mucking out a stall, like pooping scoop out of her pony stall at the moment. Georgie took the pitchfork that she was, she's all, what? Threw the pitchfork down. She's like, really? Really? Yeah. Anyways. There's a, there's a little insight into the dream lately. So, Where's he going? He's going in the back. He loves it back He's there. got groceries. He's oh. going to unpack Oh, uh, we better load him up. We got to go pick up our other Bye. car. There you the go. Mechanics. That's the story. There you go. This is the illusion and the hologram. Baby, Al. Out. Out.